Hello, this is Rich, and uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial today. I'm assuming about five minutes. Um, I just got a lot of requests how to make 3D looking things inside of Flash. Um, after I received a lot of requests for this, I decided to um, go ahead and experiment to see if I could accomplish this, and I have. Um, this is uh, basically relating to the default CryEngine 3 HUD where the ammo and the health uh, kind of looks 3D as it's going out into the screen. Um, so we're going to uh, show you today how to make that effect. It's very, very simple. Um, this feature is um, using Flash Player 10 and up and also Action Script 3. Um, be and I've always wondered if um, the new CryEngine uh, used the Action Script 3 and not Action Script 2 and the Flash Player 10 and above, um, but this has actually uh, uh, inf you know, let me know that it does use Flash Player 10 and above and does use uh, the Action Script 3 for CryEngine, which is good because a lot of new features, I guess, got implemented in the Action Script 3 and Flash Player 10 and above. Um, the reason why I know is because you cannot really accomplish that uh, that 3D looking effect unless it's Flash Player 10 and above and using Action Script 3. So we're just going to show you how to create that effect, and it's quite simple. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up your uh, Adobe Flash CS 5.5. I have a 30-day trial. I'm going to go ahead and click Continue Trial. And I'm going to go Create New Action Script 3. From here, I'm going to change my frames per second to 60. And I'm also going to change my, dot, my stage width to a high def resolution, which is going to be today 1920 by 1080. And going to fit in window. I've gone ahead and I downloaded some Google uh, images for this. Um, this um, is just a basic, just getting 3D uh, looking things inside of your um, Flash document. But um, I'm also in the process of making a tutorial on full fledged um, 3D HUD for like a first person shooter where basically it's like the free SDK one where you got. The uh, ammo showing, the type of gun you're using showing, how much ammo is in your, you know, your pack. Also, how much your health. All this dynamically updates as you like receive damage and as you use bullets. Uh, I am in the process uh, currently of making that tutorial. Um, I just stopped um, in order to do this real quick. This is like a five-minute thing. So once I created this document and I've set that, I'm gonna make sure. See, publish settings here. Uh, under that, you're going to see Flash Player 10.2. All I did was go to Flash Player 10.10.1 because I'm not sure on the extent of the Flash Player compatibility. I do know Flash Player 10 and 10.1 does work for CryEngine, so we we'll use that. And also, we need to use uh, Action Script 3.0. Go ahead to Publish Settings. Make sure you properly name your uh, compiled uh, version of your Flash, which is um, the .swf extension, also known as GFX. This is what CryEngine uses. So name this as SWF extension and go ahead and just type whatever you want. I'm just going to do test <coughs> underscore 3D just like that. Oops, I'm going to go back in see if I JPEG quality. Go ahead and bump that up to 100. Um, make sure uh, flash SWF is checked in HTML wrapper. Those are just default. Make sure they're just, you know, they're there. <coughs> After that, we're going to do um, a couple things. First of all, you're going to see the Layers panel. This is for organization. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to name this Layer 2 um, Dynamic Text. Again, this is not really a tutorial on um, making the 3D HUD. So this is just for 3D transformation. 
I'll explain uh, dynamic uh, text um, my tutorial later. Um, now that I've created that layer, layer, I'm going to also create another layer. I'm going to bring this layer here, layer one. Then layer three, I'm going to rename this to um, graphics. Hey, excuse me, guys. Hey, Crystal. And I'm going to name layer one to main as the main layer. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I had to take care of my kid real quick. All right, so we got three layers, the main layer, the graphics, and dynamic text layer. So on the graphics, we're gonna import some pictures here that the text is gonna overlay onto. And so we're gonna, in order to import stuff like uh, pictures and stuff like that, first of all, we're gonna save our document. And um, if you watched my previous tutorial on UI creation for CryEngine, you know where to save this. I'm going to name it uh, test underscore 3D, just like that. And uh, we're on the graphics layer because we clicked on it. We're going to go to file, import, import to stage, because the whole working set, this black document, the entire document is known as the stage here, this black layer. Um, from here, we're going to browse for the images. I have a health symbol, the TIFF, it has an alpha applied, so that all we see is the uh, image and not the uh, background. And uh, from here, I'm going to resize this. Actually, no. And bring that just like that. And uh, we're going to go to File. We're going to import something else import to stage and I have something here it's ammo I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click this image here convert to symbol and we're going to make sure it's a movie clip once you do that we're going to name the instance name. We're going to give it a name that we can that way we can refer to it in our script. And we're going to name this pick to let the type know the type. It can name this whatever you want. This is my naming convention. It's a picture, and it's going to be ammo. Pick ammo. A M M O. We're going to click on this. Right click. Convert to symbol. Also movie clip. And we're going to name the instance, so we can refer to it in script. And it's going to be PIC, pick, H E A L T H. Once you've done that, I'm going to make sure. Try to center it the best I can. And let's see if we can change this side. I'm going to click on this. You're going to see the width and height is a 512 by 512 picture. I'm just going to trade, uh, change this to a 256 to 256, just to decrease that size a little bit. It was just a little bit too big. click on this one and it's already a 256 by 256 and we're going to align it to the corner here just like that 
Okay, on top of that, we're going to create some text. And what you want to do is you want to go on the right hand side. You're going to see the T. You want to click on that. And on the text tool, you're going to want to make sure it was classic text. And you're going to want to make sure that it's TLF text. Very important. And um, you're also going to want to embed it. Make sure that is is embedded. And just make sure that all character ranges, all is selected. And you can just name this whatever you want. Um, but I'm going to name it at h e a oops at h e a l t h because it's going to be for the health it means i use at as a representation as um that's not the actual text that's going to be there um but that just lets me know that at health is a type we're going to be using health again you can name this whatever you want after you've done that go ahead and click okay once that's done go ahead and left click and insert your text and I'm gonna put at H E A L T H and um, we can go ahead and we can scale um, whoops make sure that this is scaled properly we can probably increase the size as well something like that let's go ahead to the move tool which is uh, right up here and make sure that is centered just like that and uh, size we want this to be a little bit bigger just like that and uh, we need to increase this viewport window here by just grabbing and dragging one of these corners and we can just move that back into place just like that uh, this text is going to be dynamic, so even though this is at health, when it's in game, it's not going to say at health because we're going to change the text that's here to runtime, which is going to simulate uh, player health. That's what's going to be discussed here, uh, you know, viewed here. Um, we're also going to make a couple of things here, uh, a couple of text here. Oh, make sure you click on this. It's uh, we got to name this as well. We're going to call this text my naming convention it's type of text and it's health h e a l t h and it is t l f text and make sure embedding is done and everything's all at health just like that like we did before okay um it was my bad i put it on the graphics layer now you can do that if you want but i want to put it on my dynamic text layer so i'm going to go ahead and click on this text control c then delete it, go to my dynamic text, and then paste it into my dynamic text layer, and then bring it right down here. I'm going to create some more text, and I'm just going to click, and I'm going to make at c u c u r r e n t current h e a l t h current health. This is what's going to be displayed as what's in your clip at that point in time. Again, this is a dynamic text. going to resize that I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees by going into the uh, free transform tool grab on the rotation and make sure it's rotated 90 degrees from here I'm going to go into the select and move tool and I'm going to bring this because I want the health uh, sorry the current that it says current health what I meant to put was uh, current a m m o current ammo and name this as well text underscore c u r e n t underscore a m m o just like that
I'm going to go ahead and hit control. Oops. Go to my select and move tool. I'm going to select this. Control C. Control V. So I copied it. And I'm going to bring this into just like that. And I'm going to rename the text to, because I want this to be how many ammo you have total in this little bullet cl uh, clip symbol. Um, so I'm going to type in at C U R R E N T, current underscore, sorry, not current, T O T A L, oops, <laughs> T O T A L, total underscore A M M O, just like that. And uh, select and move so I can select it. And then text total underscore a m m o oops enable auto recovery yeah uh, let me type this in t o t a l total underscore a m m o just like that I'm gonna Go ahead, and I'm going to copy this again. Control V, Control, sorry, Control C, Control V. I'm going to take this here, go to Free Transform, and I'm going to rotate it back to normal. Select and move, and I'm going to whoops, I'm going to bring that in just a little bit, just like that. And I'm going to position this just like that. So the uh, gun type is going to be between these two here. So I've got to rename this. G-U-N underscore T-Y-P-E. And uh, select and move. So I can just shorten this up just like that. Also, I'm going to have the instance name text underscore G U N underscore T Y P E. Okay, this is all on the dynamic text layer. Now that we've got that all set up, here's what you have to do make sure you're on the select and move tool. Go ahead and select both the at health and or your text here and uh, your symbol once you've done that you're gonna go and uh, 3d rotation tool once you've done that you're gonna have a rotation widget I'm gonna click on this green line that's going uh, horizontally and I'm gonna click and then drag whoops my bad click and I'm gonna drag just like that now once I've done that I'm gonna go to select and oops sorry once I've done that I'm gonna rotate it first just like that once I've done that there's a Z value here I'm gonna go a click and I'm gonna drag to bring it more into the screen and uh, for the this is X and Y position on the X I'm gonna bring it in more just by clicking and dragging just like that and I'm going to do the same for this go to the select and move tool grab everything that's in here go to the 3d rotation again this 3d rotation tool won't work unless you're using flash player 10 uh, and above and action script 3 and I'm just going to rotate Just like that, I'm going to take my Z value, I'm going to bring it in, take my X value, bring it right to the side, and then I've got my 3D uh, view looking. It looks like it's going into the screen, and that's what the uh, CryEngine uh, 3 SDK uh, scale form uh, looks like. Um, all this black area will actually be cleared out, and all you'll see on screen is this symbol, this symbol, 
with these texts. Uh, through ActionScript, you're able to change these texts dynamically uh, to display certain things like this. You can display the health of the character. This, you can display how much ammo is in your clip on this little bullet here. The actual gun that you're using can be displayed in between here. And the total ammo is going to be displayed between here. This is a rotation uh, 3D effect that this tutorial was about. And my actual tutorial is going to be about actually implementing uh, this into CryEngine. Uh, so that your health and your ammo and your gun type and stuff like that can all be changed dynamically. Hopefully in the future when I learn. I've never used Flash before. This is my second time. Um, so hopefully in my next tutorial I can go about animating these two as you're walking and stuff. Just like the CryEngine SDK. Uh, thank you very much, and um, I hope this helped quite a bit. Thank you.